two windows in front, one window on the upper level. All right, I need to swarm that house. Eight or nine p.m. Still and stomp people so my out. and I went ahead and rang the doorbell. <laughs> Yo, what's up, guys? Prince Charming. We're gonna be checking out Mr. Nightmare 3 Scary True Find My iPhone Horror Stories. So, I'm gonna be checking out the first story on this. And, like I said, or like I always say, if you like these, just let me know in the comment section. I'm gonna bring you more of these if it gets good views. I'm gonna keep reacting to these haunted, scary, you know, stories. So, these are true Find My iPhone Horror Stories. So, I'm guessing somebody loses their iPhone, and then the person who finds their iPhone is like someone creepy, tells them to go to like this abandoned warehouse, and then they actually follow directions. Tell you, somebody loses my iPhone, we're getting that GPS. <laughs> See, a NASA technology on them. Ain't nobody gonna get away with my phone. Don't forget to hit me to like, subscribe, and go ahead and comment the first phone that you lost. The first phone that I lost was like a basic. Oh, oh my gosh, it was a Razor. What? Yeah, those flip phones, those skinny flip phones, Razor flip phones. Everybody knew about them. Everybody wanted one when they first released. That was like the talk of the town. But enough of me talking. Let's go and check out Mr. Nightmare, Scary True, Find My iPhone Horror Stories. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Find my iPhone horror stories. Let's begin. Where they are? Are they in San Francisco? Are they in Cali? This music's so eerie. <laughs> I went to a bar with a couple of friends one Saturday night. Mm, okay, we got fun. really drunk and eventually all spread out throughout the bar as we went to talk to different people. Long story short, I was having a bad night, and I wasn't feeling the whole bar scene really. Your girl didn't text you back? I called an Uber home. It was about 15 minutes away. The Uber pulled up, but instead some old, crappy-looking 2003 or something Honda Ugh! Of the bar. Y'all can't even drive those in Uber and lives. in the window and asked, Mike? That's not Mike. I nodded, so I got in the passenger seat, only because the front seat was covered with books and other stuff that appeared to be junk. Boy, why would you get in the front seat nonetheless? The entire car was messy, <laughs> the back seats too. He didn't seem like the kind of Uber driver to joke around and make conversation with. He was on the older side, not that old, but his hair was thinning, and based on what I could see of his face, he looked kind of unfriendly. What's this dude, Mark? Mike? His so name's Mike? Silent. He's gonna kill you! He was pretty drunk, though, so I barely remember what I was doing. Probably drunk texting people and whatnot. If you never took an Uber or a Lyft, Uber or slash Lyft is essentially, you know, the drunk taxi. <laughs> so whenever you're out at night, it doesn't even have to be at night. You can literally use it for any reason. But essentially, you download the app, you call Uber or Lyft, and they come to you in 15 minutes, and it's way cheaper than a taxi. The only problem is that it's regular people, you know, they're not taxi people. They're regular people off the street that just said one day, I want to drive Uber, and then they got to. So you will come across like some weird Uber drivers and Lyft drivers. But but all of my experience has been good. You know, I never met a creepy dude like Mike. And plus, you can't drive a 2003 car in Uber. It has to be a current updated car. Like, ain't no broke boy finna be doing that. I'm Ooh. telling you, I was blackout drunk because I don't remember even getting out of the car. You're that drunk, dude? All and I really remember is waking up the next morning and realizing my phone was missing. Yep, he stole it. I checked it everywhere. <laughs> Mike I took it. I turned my whole room upside down looking for it. Eventually, after hours of searching, I came to the unfortunate acceptance that I must have lost my phone the night before. In the Uber car. All my friends because you got if I had the Uber. Phone. All of them said no. Then I remembered I recently activated Find My iPhone. Lucky man. I excitedly told my brother to track my phone using the Find My iPhone app. Sure enough, my iPhone came up on the map. Yee! It was a few miles away, <laughs> on the much worse side of town. The part of town everyone knew not to go to. Ooh, but Mike, where you live? With me, not only to help track the phone, but to serve as backup if needed. Smart man, bring backup. We pulled up to what appeared to be the house that the iPhone on the map was sitting over. It was a small box-like house. Two windows in front, one window on the upper level. All right, I need to swarm that house. Eight or nine p.m. Still and stomp people so out. And I went ahead and rang the doorbell. It didn't seem like the bell worked though, so I knocked really hard on the door. Yeah, get your phone back, I bro. I actually hear footsteps on a creaky wood floor approaching the front door. Ooh. And silence. There was a peephole in the door. Yeah, he saw I you. I had a feeling someone was watching us through it at that very moment. After an uncomfortably long silence, the door cracked open and someone asked who it is in a very raspy, almost familiar Get my voice. phone back! What do you mean? Opening the door asking, what do y'all want, who it is? It's the person whose phone you stole! Give it back! That's like when you're give somebody your charger and then you need to charge your phone you're like hey bro can i get my charger back and they're like hey what percentage you want 
I don't care if I'm on 99 and I want my charger back, you're gonna give me my charger back. I would've kicked down that door. Bro, you have my phone. Don't even act like you don't. Don't act stupid. I have found my iPhone and it's pretty accurate. We mentioned the lost iPhone situation. At first he played dumb. But when I turned to the oh, driver brother. and recognized the old Honda Accord, I called him out for being my Uber driver yep. and I must have dropped my phone in his car. At this point he opened the door fully and revealed himself to indeed be my Uber driver. Now he acted like he remembered, <coughs> but his whole persona and everything was disturbing. He clearly didn't know what social cues were, or forget that, he clearly just didn't know what social skills were. He's a sociopath. Those he guys are dangerous. And shut the door behind us. Don't mess with a sociopath. He told us to wait there while he went upstairs to find my phone. I thanked him, and as creepy as the guy was, oh gosh. I felt relieved that I'd be getting my phone back. He's getting coming out with a gun! My brother and I stood in the tiny hallway of this man's tiny house. Oh gosh! It was so archaic inside. He's gonna get that shoddy! Design, everything. The floral wallpaper covering all of the walls looks like it belongs in a house built in the 1930s. <laughs> He's just roasting our house. <laughs> the stairs that the man walked up were creaky and oh gosh. Like they were ready to collapse. We heard Why him walking around upstairs for a bit. Why are y'all in his the house? Creepiness followed his every step until he we heard stayed him outside. stop directly overhead. My brother and I patiently played the waiting game with my checking my watch every minute or so. This man is clearly coming out with a gun. Come on. This dude, <laughs> he's not going to finish just give you your phone back because you came to his house. Come back with a gun and going to chase you out. That's his phone now. There's no reason why he'll lie and say, I don't know who you are. And then when you call him out, he'll finally confess. So you come into his house and then go upstairs for a long period of time. Unless he's loading up that shotgun. I would have followed him, bro. There's no way I would have just sat down while he went to go get my phone. It's my phone, bro. You you lucky I knocked on your door and didn't kick it down. Well, I'm so aggressive. Left there for a total of 10 minutes. My brother and I got so impatient at this point that we started calling up the stairs asking the man if he needed help. We heard a slight creak in the floor right above us again, but he didn't call back. Yep, he's loading the my gun. My brother told me to go upstairs and check if he needed help. So I hesitantly did. Oh no, oh no. Oh. halfway up the stairs. Oh gosh. I realized it was insanely dark up there which made me wonder how he could even possibly be looking for my phone. He's not looking for your phone. To the top. There seemed to be three open doors. Oh gosh. One leading to a bathroom, the other two leading to bedrooms. Oh gosh. All the lights were off except for a little hallway nightlight. I called out for the man again to no avail. I called down the stairs to my brother saying that all the lights were off and something wasn't right. Yeah, he's... He didn't answer for some reason. What is he doing? Is he a vampire? the bathroom, empty. I was about to check one of the bedrooms, passing the door to the bathroom. Oh gosh. But I stopped when I saw something through the crack of the bathroom door. Woo! The man, he was hiding behind the door, <gasps> holding something in his hand. I Why are you looking at me? Looking at me. But I didn't look for more than a second. I looked away and pretended I didn't notice. I had to get downstairs ASAP. I nervously called out to the man that I'd be going downstairs and that I'd be right back. Okay. I walked with a certain speed and jumped my step right to the stairs, at which point I booked it and screamed for my brother to follow me. Yeah, if he's just staring at you through a peephole, he is not in the right head, he does not have the right mindset, don't know what's about to go on, all I know is that you need to get out of the house as soon as possible. As soon as I saw that eye, bro, like, chills went through my body. I don't know how y'all deal with that. Um... Just give me my phone so I can leave. <laughs> but he wants to be on some weird shit because he has no social cues. He's a sociopath. Those people are dangerous. Like You can meet some sociopaths that are nice and they just don't really know social cues. But most sociopaths are kind of like crazy a little bit. My brother emerged from one of the other rooms downstairs after apparently snooping around. And without questioning it, followed me outside to the car. We drove down the block as I explained in full what happened. The next thing we did was dial 911 for the police. Yeah, call the police. An officer showed up to the house where we returned, showed the officer the Find My iPhone app screen, and knocked on the door with the officer. The man would eventually answer, and the officer forced the man to fetch the phone. Get that phone! This time he did without hesitation. He went up the stairs, and 10 seconds later came back down. What was he doing with your phone, My though? My brother and I begged the officer to arrest him or do something given that he looked as if he were waiting to strike me as he was behind that door. Oh my gosh. The officer said there was nothing he could do though, and I swear as I said this, 
the Uber driver looked at me with the most disgusting, disturbing, Woo! evil stare I've ever seen. He's finna get you! I gave him the middle finger and turned away as he left the house. Ha! <laughs> Flip him off! felt good slightly. <laughs> Hell yeah! I still get scared thinking about seeing that man behind that door. Very clearly holding something in his hand. Most likely waiting to attack me if I were to see him. So that was it for this video guys and I hope you enjoyed it. So that was the first story out of the Find My iPhone Horror Stories. Let me know if you enjoyed that, if you want to watch some more with me. The guy flipped him off at the end. I'll have to do something more. I'll probably like slap him like bitch slap him. Pimp slap him. Pimp name slip back. Say the full name. I'm sorry man but he was just too nice. Like what? This dude stole your phone and wants to give you a difficult time and you had to drive out to him? Nah, that's... Oh my gosh, that could not be me. But I shouldn't say that couldn't be me because unless I'm in the position, I don't know how I'm going to really react. It's easy to say how you're going to react when you're not in the situation, you know? So yeah, I'm not going to do all that good talking. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and comment on this video if you want to play from your truly Prince Charming. My name is Prince Hawkins. Stay charming, my friends.